Hi friends, Scientist Jen here. And I'm Scientist Kylie, and we're here at the World of Wonder Science Museum in downtown Lodi, California. Today, we are going to do some explosions, and we're gonna use all household kitchen items. All right, friends, we love getting feedback from viewers like you. And we have a request from Daniela Bell in Toronto, Canada. Daniela, what would you like to see? Science rules. I love explosions, by the way. Can you please give me an explosion experiments, please? Oh, that sounds really cool. I think we can do it. All right, you guys want to see some explosions? These rocks! For our first experiment today, I'm going to be showing you a simple and classic chemical reaction using an acid and a base. Our acid that we're using today is distilled white vinegar, and the base that we're using is baking soda. Both items that you might already have in your kitchen or laundry room at home. I'm also going to be using two clear cups, a one-third cup measuring cup, and then I've got a couple of measuring spoons right here. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to take the baking soda, I'm going to open it up and I'm going to measure two tablespoons of the baking soda into this clear glass right here. Now I'm going to take the white vinegar and I'm going to measure two thirds of a cup into this cup right here. Next, I'm going to take this white vinegar and I'm going to pour all of it over the baking soda into this cup. When the vinegar and baking soda come into contact with each other, they create a chemical reaction where one substance is turned into another substance or substances. In this case, carbon dioxide gas is created and released. All right, friends, experiment number two. What we're gonna do is we're gonna use that idea of releasing that carbon dioxide gas, but this time we're gonna trap it in a container and it'll build up pressure and then explosion. Now for this experiment, safety first. So I have my goggles, I have my gloves, and I'm gonna need a helper. Hmm, helper? Oh, perfect. Let's try it out. All right, we have our bag here and it's important that your helper holds it open. So now we can measure out our acid. All right now, here's a little trick for our baking soda. We'll get one. Now if we trap it in this baggie, hopefully get it sealed before it interacts. All right. What do you think? Oh, we are ready. All right, now let's do our chemical reaction and see what happens. Whoa, oh perfect, all right. And that's our first explosion. All right, I have this little container here, but if you don't have something like this canister at home, of course we could use a Tupperware canister or something else. I'm going to fill it up about halfway with our vinegar, maybe a little more than that. And now there's a trick to add the baking soda here. So I'm gonna get one fourth of a teaspoon put it on this towel. Now the paper towel can go right over the top. Now, for something like this, safety first. So, goggles. Now it's nice and sealed, but they're not reacting yet because they're not touching. If I flip it over, we'll get a reaction and an explosion. Let's see what happens next. longer than a few minutes later. Oh, that was cool. 
That was a good one. For experiment number three today, we're also going to be using baking soda and vinegar. This time though, we're going to be using a water bottle or any container with a smaller opening. I have measured two thirds of a cup of vinegar and I'm also going to need to put some baking soda into this balloon right here. Use this funnel to get the baking soda into the balloon, but there is another way you can do that. You might need some helping hands though. Awesome. So scientist Jen is going to help me put the baking soda into the balloon because we want that baking soda to be able to go right into the bottom part. I have the baking soda in my balloon right here. So what I'm going to do quickly is I'm going to take the two thirds cup of white vinegar that I measured and I am going to pour it into this water bottle right here. All right, what we're going to do now is, remember the baking soda is in this bottom part of the balloon. So you wanna do this carefully. You wanna make sure that you don't get any of that baking soda into the water bottle yet. So as you can see now, the balloon is attached to the top of the water bottle and all the baking soda is in here. So we're going to see what happens now when I take this balloon and I tip all of that baking soda into that cup. This is one of my favorite experiments to do. Just like the other explosions we've done on this video, carbon dioxide gas is released. But we can't see the gas with our eyes normally. This experiment lets us actually see that gas being trapped inside of the balloon and expanding the balloon. For this experiment, you need a container with a pop top, vinegar, and Dawn dish soap inside. We add the baking soda and then cap it very quickly. Then watch out, because we are about to get an explosion! friends i hope you had a great time watching our video today and don't forget if you try some of these at home safety first so we have our goggles also you always want to have supervision with experiments like this okay also please be sure to like comment and subscribe to our videos right here on youtube also you can go to www.wowsciencemuseum.org to sign up for our newsletter to stay updated with any new videos or resources that we put online until next time